Hey, Cameron from SewellDirect.com. I'm uh, the purchasing manager here, so we get a lot of samples, and I'm here just to show some of the samples we get. Um, today we're talking about HDMI cable. Uh, this is going to be um, a popular subject right now since it's the holidays and people are looking for their cables to go along with their HDTV. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the samples we've gotten. Um, for instance, these two, which um, we don't sell either of these. We don't plan to. Um, but they're just samples, and they look exactly the same. Um, they have uh, about the same thickness, you can tell from the outside. Um, they also both have ferrites, which are these little round things, which supposedly block electromagnetic interference. Um, and so, you know, they look about the same. But if you cut them open, they look pretty different, which we went ahead and did. Now, this cable, um, like I said, looks thick on the outside, but it has all this white stuff on the inside to make it look thick. And uh, we can't tell what this does other than the fact that it just makes the cable look more expensive. Um, it doesn't do any shielding or it doesn't, you know, conduct anything. So uh, it's pretty much just a filler. Um, this cable does have a little bit of uh, shielding. You can see the little foil shielding right here. There's also foil shielding around each of the conductors. But if you look at the conductors as well, they're very thin. Um, I uh, I haven't measured these myself, but they look thinner than 28 gauge, which is pretty much the minimum. Um, anything, you know, 28, any number higher than 28, you probably should stay away from. So, uh, like I said, um, this cable is uh, one of those cables you probably see on one of those price sensitive websites, um, but I would just stay away from them. You know, you probably find this for like six or seven bucks. Um, this one, which you'd probably find for around 40 bucks, uh, has a lot more shielding. Um, and much thicker conductors. Um, this shielding is called braided shielding. This is the foil shielding on the, on the inside. And then there's more shielding uh, around each of the conductors, more foil shielding. Um, and the conductors are nice and thick, 24 gauge. Um, but who wants to pay $40 for an HDMI cable, right? So uh, that's why we went ahead and came out with our own HDMI cable. Um, this is ours. Now one thing that you'll notice right away is that there is no ferrite. Um, now, ferrite is something that a lot of people claim blocks electromagnetic interference. If you were uh, to go with an analog signal, like VGA for instance, this might be more useful. Um, but on a signal like HDMI, which uh, has HDCP, um, which is content protection, um, now this isn't only copyright protection, it actually protects the, uh, the content, the, uh, the digital packets that are being sent through this cable. Um, so in other words, a ferrite won't um, make this process any better. It's already guaranteed to arrive. Now, um, one thing you do need to block the electromagnetic interference is shielding. So let's go ahead and cut this one open. This is, uh, again, the Sewell cable. It's got a lot of this, again, the braided uh, shielding and the foil shielding, and the shielding around each of the conductors. Um, so it has the same amount of shielding as the $40 cable, and uh, with the same conductor as well, 24 gauge uh, conductor. So basically, you're getting the same exact insides of a $40 cable, but uh, for 12 bucks or so, um, unless we're running a deal. Maybe it's even less. So go ahead and stop by SewellDirect.com. Uh, go ahead and get the, uh, the Sewell cable now that you know what's inside it, and uh, happy holidays.